Alright, so let's see. What do we got next? We got, I believe, Zelda next. Zelda next. Um, unfortunately, she doesn't have any sort of alternate costumes that work there, but... Wait. Was Zelda really changed? I mean, I'm actually kind of curious. What did they change for Zelda? Hmm. We'll have to see about that as we go into this stage. This familiar looking stage. Green Hill with Sonic Boom! Yay! Can't wait for the 2014 of that. <laughs> anyway, they changed Green Hill Zone. They completely reimagined Green Hill Zone here. Instead of it being all a horseshoe stage, they now made it a platform! Also with one of those rotating platforms you find in the original Green Hill Zone. Yep. But anyway, I think they changed up his changed up Zelda's up B, I believe. Or down B. Or or not. They could just transform to Zelda to Sheik anyway. God. Tch. Yep, yep, they had they had to keep transformations in. In Project M. So Frolic, so 4 is actually doing something good for a change. <laughs> but uh I don't necessarily think they changed around up. Wow, people are dying in and out of the place. Jeez. But uh if you actually do look at a uh, Green Hill Zone from all these sort of different angles here, you can see they actually did change around some bit. Hey, look at that. Trees on the platform or trees in the air or whatever. Yeah, they basically made it like all 3D Green Hill Zone from Sonic Adventure 2, for if that makes any sense. Except, well, they still keep the shuttle loop there, but I don't really think uh, Tails, Knuckles, and uh, Silver go through that loop. I don't think so, anyway. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, let's get these light arrows at work here! Boosh! Ah, I didn't get pit, man! Why, why can I not, why can I not get Pit Man? Anyway, just a warning right now, they don't have Dark Pit as an alternate costume in this one, even though this is the latest version. And I am very disappointed, Project M team, why you know include Dark Pit thingy or voice thingy, you could have lowered his voice a bit. I am very disappointed at that. Anyway, let me see if I can actually, okay, there we go. I like how Zelda goes to whenever. Oh, jeez, I got them both at the same time. Sweet. Um, I like how Zelda. I like how she goes toot or toot <laughs> whenever she, whenever he, she, it jumps. Is she a boy or a girl, by the way. <laughs> I don't know. Like for the longest time, for the longest freaking time. Like I know they just got. I know she and I know in Ocarina of Time she disguised herself so she can have from Gengar, but jeez. Why? Why? I mean, oh, well, I'm, I'm sorry. Spoiler alert! <laughs> uh, spoiler alert! Oh, and by the way, contrary to popular belief, no, that is not Anthony to whatever doing the voice of Pit right there. This is made before Kid Icarus Uprising was out. So, they had the voice of Toad of all bloody people do the voice of Pit. So that's why Pit sounds different here and not necessarily in uh, Kid Icarus Uprising. Yeah. Anyway, you can die pit any time now because I really want to win as Sheik for once in my life. Come on. Come on, man. I want to hear this music longer as much as you do, but I got to get things moving along here. Okay, now die. Boosh! Ha! Ah! I win at life. I win at life. Huzzah. But, uh, let's see. Who do we got? Oh, yes! Oh, yes! We got this dude next. We got Link next. And what's cool about this mod is, not only can you play as Twilight Princess Link, like I said in the last video, but you can also play as Melee Link as well. See, he's got all three tunics in and everything. So, that's cool. But now we actually have a fan-made stage, or an unofficial stage, before Smash 4 made it a thing. Skyloft from Skyward Sword. And I do heavily approve of that. What I do not approve of is that they don't use the Battle of the Goddess theme for that, and that is stupid. Even though they used it clearly in the other versions before this. Uh, DK, why you be done? Maybe I ought to choose my opponents next time. <laughs> anyway, they actually made 
this link right here pretty much just like it would in melee. Like, see, he no, he doesn't have the Gale Boomerang anymore. He just has his plain old Boomerang like he does. Also, another thing, you can't charge your spin attack like you can in uh, with Twilight Princess. So, that's the thing. Ow. Yep, I had to die right there. I had to freaking die. Alright. Alright. Or, Wolfie. Jeez. Wolfie. Yeah, Wolfie. That's what I meant to say. You're going dead. But anyway, in terms of the stage itself, they actually had plenty of detail in the background. Like, look at this. Look at that. They pretty much got every detail right here in Skyloft. Like, the Statue of the Goddess is right there. The, school, the Academy is right there. The Night Academy. The Bazaar is there. Um... There's uh, Betro's house right there. It's pretty cool that they did that. And, yep, yep, they even added the place where Link finds his kidnapped Lothrin from Bruce. So, that is pretty cool. Yeah. That is all sorts of cool. And, of course, as with any sort of tradition, you can't zoom in for as close as you freaking please. Of course not. But they don't have the headstones in there. That's stupid. But in terms of the stage itself, it's not really so much a touring stage like it is in Smash 4. It's just it's just a floating platform going around Skyloft. But what's cool is that you can actually see uh, Zelda and Link's Loft wings in the background, so that's pretty cool that they do that. Jeez. <laughs> and everyone hates Skyward Sword nowadays and loves Link Between, Link Between Worlds there. Well, not everybody hates it. I love it, but... Yeah. Whatever. I still count as... Well, I still discredit it to say that it is my second favorite Zelda game next to Majora's Mask. It's my favorite video game. Obviously. And why why, 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 why you do this? Why you do this? And of course they kept the whole stabbing motion at work there. Like, see, look at that. Look at me, it's all stabbing like melee style. Woo! And of course I'm pretty decent with Link, I guess. But, ah! Couldn't get the Triforce Smash off. Or try for a slash. Jeez. Yeah. In terms of Final Smashes, of course, they haven't really changed up much of the Final Smashes. Like, Mario's is still Mario's. Uh, there's all this off wing right there. Uh, Link's is still Link's, and so on and so forth. Yeah. But, boosh! Anyway, let's see. Arrows? Nope. Of course, they didn't keep the effects melee with the bombs. They still had to keep it Twilight Princess, and that's ruined. But the one thing that... The one thing that they didn't get for the Skyloft stage in 4, it, or in this one, is the, uh... is the, uh, Thunderhead that appears in the background. It's, like, right behind the Statue of the Goddess or something. But whatever. Next was my original main, Toon Link. So, for his alternate costume, we have... Outset Link. Yep, you can play as Outset Link in his pajamas in this game. That is cool. That is cool. But now, uh, Skyworld hasn't really changed a lot. Well, they made it so that the platforms are no longer breakable like they are in Brawl. So, that's no longer the worst stage of all time. <laughs> well, aside from uh, 75 meters and Mario Brothers, those stages can go, can, can, can go die in a fire. But, now we're actually getting to a stage brought back from Melee. Because water is a good thing. Yoshi's Story. A very popular competitive thingy. I'm fighting all of my opponents are Pokemon. Oh my god. Oh my god. So yeah, look at this. Look at the detail of this. Look at Link being all like, mm, I don't like you, colorfulness. But yeah, they actually added a wooden shield, I guess. I don't know what is up with the wooden shield. They probably could have added the uh, mirror shield. And they have the uh, basic sword, I guess. Or the sword that uh, the old man gives you on one week. Yeah. But in terms of attacks, he's actually pretty different. He no longer launches himself when he does his down A air attack, like so. He also has a new side A attack, which is just slashing once instead of slashing twice like he does in Brawl. So, yeah, that's the thing. But I think it's, yep, his final smash is basically the same. Try for a slash. 
it's still a cartoony, so I guess that's okay. But anyway, I don't think he does the kick, actually. Yeah, he doesn't do the kick anymore, actually, when he's doing his backwards, backwards A attack in the air. So, yeah. I'm just trying to showcase as much as I can, guys. Jace. Oh, and also, uh, his up B has been slightly nerfed and stuff. But the one thing that has been changed with the that has stayed the same with Toon Link is that you can still charge your spin attack like you can with Toon Link. So yeah. Also check out one of his taunts. Or that's not one of his taunts. Ah! Yeah, I'm staying away from that. Yeah, look at this. Yep. He has that taunt. He has Young Link's taunt. Where he drinks the milk. And he swallows it all and does that ah, thing. If I can actually do it, Ivy Sword. Jeez. And, wow, his his thing, his regular A attack has been changed. Look at that. That's actually pretty cool. That's cool. Jeez, man. And whoa, jeez. Okay, yeah. One thing that has changed about Charizard is the fact that he now has seismic toss. So, yeah. Tribute to the anime, much? No, because that's pretty freaking cool. And you should respect that coolness. Because it's Charizard, man. It's one of the most overrated Pokemon of the day, man. And wow, I'm glad I'm not in that. Let me drink my milk, goddammit! Ah! Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. Anyway, that's dead. So now onward to my most hated character in Melee. Oh, God. I don't know. I don't know what it is about Mewtwo and me. It's like, in whenever Melee was all the rage and stuff when I was a kid, my brother would always pick up Mewtwo and such, and he freaking loves Mewtwo. He can dodge things with it all the damn time. Sort of like how I can with Kirby. And yeah, that's uh, Mewtwo's uh, applause at work there. He just goes all like, heh, I don't give a shit. <laughs> he just goes all like that. Anyway, um, I don't really think Ganondorf has changed. Hmm. But, regardless of that, we might as well go with Mewtwo, because he actually has an alternate costume. Look at that. That's the armor, that's the armor Mewtwo has in Pokemon the first movie. That is amazing. But anyway, I don't, no, Battlefield hasn't changed. Pokemon Stadium 2 hasn't changed. So, we're gonna go for the classic melee final destination. Because, I guess that's a change. Anyway, like I said before, Mewtwo basically operates like he does in uh, Smash Bros. Melee. His A attack is like a uh, consecutive thingy. He does the whole pulse thingy, which would be Dark Pulse at this point, I guess. Mewtwo can still learn Shadow Ball, basically do all that, except it's a lot faster than it once was. And again, Mewtwo's final smash is basically Lucario's. But I want to be fair to my peeps here, or I can be totally cheap to my peoples. And you people all want Mewtwo and your Smash 4. And you know what's really hilarious about the latest about that trailer thing they showed at the end of the Smash Direct? Everyone freaking reacted to say, "Oh my God! Oh my God! It's Mewtwo! It's Mewtwo! It's Mewtwo!" Because it has the three fingers. It's Mewtwo! Yay! And then they saw the water shuriken, and it's like. Oh. And people on Miiverse still want Mewtwo and Smash 4. I'm sorry, kids. I'm sorry. If you want your Mewtwo, then go ahead and download Project M on the thing. Because that's just how the world works. Y you can't have all Mewtwo in your Smash Brothers 4! Jeez. Seriously, I'm getting really sick of those people who want, who still want freaking Mewtwo and Smash 4. I'm sorry, but every time I just see, like, a Miiverse post on... For, for, uh, for, uh, people wanting Mewtwo back in Smash 4. Well, they already have four Pokemon characters at this point in time. Pikachu, Lucario, Charizard, and Greninja. So, yeah. And obviously Jigglypuff is going to be back, so that's the fifth. So, clearly people want Mewtwo, but I'm sorry, Mr. Sakurai is not going to listen to you. <laughs> just like people, just like people freaking want Ridley in Smash 4. Because Mute Ridley is too effing big! <laughs> I love that meme so much. It was like the one thing I really like about Smash 4, even though I haven't played the game. 
is the fact that memes just come out of it like crazy. <laughs> like, there's the all aboard the hype train smash 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 thing going on there. Um, there's the uh, villager memes, obviously. Mega Man memes, uh, and the Wii Fit Trainer memes. Oh god. The Wii Fit Trainer memes are hilarious. <laughs> I didn't really see any Rosalina and Luma memes, though. Though, I don't know. Maybe they could have done the thing. Carlos. Booyah. I don't need my. Actually, I think I do. <laughs> I think I need the final smash in order to take this down. Oh, yeah, and also, another thing about Final Destination they changed is the background, obviously. The background color is different, basically. And the Final Destination platform is basically a uh, melee, basically. But regardless of that, Final Destination has not changed in the slightest at all. It hasn't. One. And, of course, now it's the time when I end my little recording session, so... Sorry for these abrupt endings, these past videos, but who gives a crap about what you think? Actually, I do care. Anyways, we're going to do more things next time, so bye. And also, I'm going to take a little break.